I'm going to be bouncing a packet off the International Space Station. Specifically, I'm going to be using my Kenwood THD74 handheld ham radio to put together an APRS packet. APRS packets have my call sign, my GPS data, and a short message. I'm going to use this Aero Yagi antenna to aim at the International Space Station. When the International Space Station receives my beacon, it will retransmit it over much of the eastern continental U.S., maybe even some of the Caribbean. Now, if for whatever reason my beacon doesn't get through to the ISS, a lot of people try using this, I'll at least be able to decode messages from other hams hundreds of miles away. This should be interesting. Let's get going. I'm going to be doing three things in this video. I'll describe APRS, Automatic Packet Reporting System. I will show you what you need to uh, use the DigiPeter on the International Space Station. And then I'll show you some of the messages that I received on today's pass. Sound interesting? Good. APRS is packet radio for ham radio operators. They can send packets out. Those packets can be re transmitted through digipeters and eye gates that can be sent to the internet. Hams can message each other, they can send text messages, they can send email. I've got videos on both of those. So APRS is a really robust system. One of the neat things is there's actually a digipeter on the International Space Station. That's what I'm going to be using today. But if you want to do APRS, you're either going to need a radio with APRS built in like this Kenwood THD74, or you're going to need a APRS app, uh, APRS Droid on Android devices, or there's a also an APRS app on uh, iOS. I can't recommend it because I don't care for it all that much, so I'm not even going to tell you what it is, but you can use it. If you get a data cable that runs from your device to your radio, you can then compose the APRS packet on your device and send it out over the air using your radio. And if you just want to receive packets, that's not a problem. You can use the speaker on your radio as packets come in and uh, use a regular rubber duck antenna to see what kind of local activity there is on APRS and let your iOS device or your Android device decode those packets. It's really pretty simple. And if you don't have a radio and you just want to know what kind of APRS activity is happening in your area, head on over to www.aprs.fi. Foxtrot India. All right, let's talk about my setup. Here's the setup I'm going with today. First, I'm using my iPad to track the International Space Station. I'm using an app called ProSat HD. ProSat HD, and I can recommend this one. You can customize list of satellites, so I have all the different ham satellites that I want to listen to programmed in. I can update the database, and then I can see when they're going to come over the next several days. It's a very good app. Uh, and the ProSat HD is telling me the International Space Station is going to pass almost directly overhead in just a few minutes. From there, you're going to want to program your radio to 145.825. Hopefully you can see that. 145.825, that's the frequency of the International Space Station's digipeter. Then you're going to want to set your packet path. So the path is want to set to ARISS. AR is in amateur radio, ISS. International Space Station. That's your path. You can add some modifiers to that, like 2-1 if you want, but I just set it to ARISS and that works. Next, you're going to want some type of 2-meter Yagi antenna. You're going to want something that's directional and has some gain. A rubber duck antenna, you'll probably be able to receive some packets, maybe. Uh, the DigiPeter doesn't have the strength of their voice um, radio. So I would get the directional antenna. It's going to help you a lot. And if you want a chance to have your beacon digipeted from the ISS, you're absolutely going to need a directional Yagi antenna with some gain. That's it. That's really all you need. Uh, you need a radio. Obviously, you need a license. You're working the two meter band. You need an APRS client or app or APRS built into your radio. You need a directional antenna and you need to know when and where the International Space Station is going to be. Hopefully today it's working. Should start hearing packets soon.
This is a good ISS pass because it's going to go almost right overhead. There's the first packet. It didn't decode it, but it came through. That's a good sign. That means the digipeter's working. Another weak one. All right, that station was 500 miles away. 102 miles away. N4DJC. I'm going to try to beacon. AC2KU, 857 miles away. There's NBURE, 626 miles away. There. I just beaconed. I don't know if it'll show up or not. I'm going to try it again. Let's hope so. Sometimes I'll actually get a report back from the ISS, like um, a confirmation packet. All right, so I don't know if I got my packet repeated, but I did hear some packets from stations as far away as 800 miles away, so that's really cool. Uh, I'll let you see a couple of those messages in just a minute. Finally, let's take a look at the packets we received. So we received one from the first one was N1RCN. Uh, he says, stay safe, May 3rd, and that was 505 miles away. Next was N4DJC, uh, and he just is, he's using a Kenwood as well. He has a Kenwood icon as his icon, and he's 102 miles away. We have AC2KU slash one. He's using a Kenwood as well, and he was 657 miles away, and his message just read on duty. And then we had NBU or N8 URE stroke seven, and his message was live from EL95, and he is 626 miles away uh, to the southeast. I think that's South Florida. Um, yeah, so that's all of them. That's all the ones I decoded. I don't think I made it through, but I'll double check. And uh, if I did, we'll see a screenshot right about here. So we did the three things we talked about at the beginning, right? I explained APRS a little bit, just scratched the surface. I talked about what you'll need uh, to send packets to the International Space Station. Then we received some packets from hundreds of miles away around the US, and I tried to get my signal out as well. Thanks for watching. This is K4BBL, and I'm clear.